So I came across this beauty at a local nursery that I was visiting. And seeing as I wanted at least a couple roses from each of the classes of old roses to grow and to work with breeding, I brought this Great Maiden's Blush home with me. I am testing it as a seed parent and have a couple of seedlings, but I am mainly uh, using its pollen on some of my modern shrub roses that I'm using. And I tried putting its pollen on a lot of different roses. A lot wouldn't receive it at all, or if they did receive it and had seeds that germinated, they died right away or just wouldn't grow. They were something wrong with them genetically. But fortunately, with so much to offer, I, I kept trying with this rose. And the beauty and the fragrance and the cold hardiness all together, I finally got it to take on this. This is Chinook Sunrise, a rose from Canada that I've been growing. It isn't a great seed parent, but it does work once in a while with certain things. And fortunately for me, a Great Maiden's Blush happens to have been one that agreed with it. Uh, so I wanted the cold hardiness from this one. Uh, the possible of other colors, possibility of other colors. Also, it has fragrance as well as the cold hardiness. And this is the result. It starts as a golden bud, opens from gold and then to a bright yellow. And then its yellow begins to fade from the outside. It starts at the outer petals and switches slowly over to a blush pink. And then that color slowly moves in on the rest of the rose. I'm calling it a uh, sun set rather than sunrise after the parent simply because the color is in a reverse order and I couldn't bring myself to do otherwise uh, but so far I've been really pleased with this and it does show that uh, what I am hoping for I may be able to actually accomplish.